All right, guys, so we're gonna continue our goal today of making sure that we are working on getting everybody's kicks higher. This is gonna be our goal for the entire month of May. So our workout is gonna be, one is to warm you guys up, and then also to kind of loosen up your hips, work on your chambers, and get everything moving in order to help you guys um, build the strength you need in order to kick higher. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bow in. So face in front, go chariot, kunye. All right, first thing we're gonna start out with is an amazing workout is jumping jacks. It's gonna work every single part of your body, starting with your legs and your arms, and then also giving your core a pretty good workout too, okay? So, Mr. Martin's gonna start us off. We're gonna go slow, medium, fast though, and everything that we do, that way you guys get a little bit of speed training and also a little bit of tension training as well. So get ready, set, and go. Okay, that regular pace, just nice and easy. Then we're also gonna do it slow. When in terms of kicking high, kicking fast is not always the answer. In order to kick high, it's actually better to train your body to go slow. All right, so everybody should be doing exactly what Mr. Martin's doing. Now go slow. There, so control as much as you can. All right, now go as fast as you can, Jimmy Jacks. Now start really pumping them up. Next 10 seconds, fast as you can. Let's go, 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 go. Keep pushing, keep pushing, and medium speed. Nice and easy, just getting everything warmed up. All right, you guys are over halfway done. You just have about 15 seconds left. So now go really slow. Okay, in this last 10 seconds, we're gonna push it out fast. Ready, go. Fast as you can, as fast as you can do jumping jacks. Push it, push it, push it, five seconds left. Go faster. And relax. All right, now next thing that we're gonna do, this is gonna be working on our chambers, okay, but also a little bit of footwork. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick this knee right up in front of us really high, we're gonna set it behind us, then you're gonna switch your feet. Then your other side is gonna pick up, knee comes really high, set it behind, switch your feet. Then knee comes up really high, set it behind you, switch your feet, okay? This is gonna help work out your legs, but also get your body used to picking that knee up really high, which is what you guys need to do in order to chamber and execute kicks properly, okay? So get ready. All right, now we're gonna start real slow. And go. Knee up, knee down, switch. Knee up, knee down, switch. Knee up, knee down, switch. All right, now your goal is gonna be to keep with Mr. Martin. Okay, I'm gonna say slow, medium, fast, and then you guys are gonna keep with his pace. So right now, you guys should be doing it with him. Every one of these drills, as soon as Mr. Martin jumps out here, you're doing exactly what he's doing moving forward. Okay, now, go a little bit faster, a little bit faster. You guys should kind of have the footwork down by now. Excellent, then knee up, switch. Knee up, switch. Good, all right, now much faster, much faster, picking your knee up and pushing it. You guys want to get a good rhythm here. Mr. Martin is going to go as fast as he possibly can this last little bit. Okay? Keep going. Keep going. All right, now as fast as you can, go, 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 go. Switch it. Let's go. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 5 seconds. Push it, push it, push it. And freeze right there. Okay, now we're actually going to do this next drill, and it's going to be mostly slow with a little bit of speed. Feet are going to be shoulder width apart. You're going to pick your knee up, move it to the outside of your body. Then your goal is going to be to pick your knee up, then move it to the outside of your body. Just like this. Up, out. Up, out. Up, out. Just like that. All right, then we also mix some speed in there too, okay? So get ready. Nice and slow. Shoulder width apart. You're going to do it with Mr. Martin. Ready, go. Nice and slow, knee goes out. What this is doing is it's developing the strength to keep that knee up in all the different positions across your body. This is a great drill, not only for balance, but also for just chambering in general. Kicking high has a lot to do with body position, chambers, make sure you guys have a solid sole. Then the other part of it is flexibility, all right? But strength and going slow is gonna be a huge part of it. Now we're gonna pick this up a little bit faster. There we go. 
All right, so you guys got about 20 seconds left. 20 seconds. Good, now as you go faster, swing your leg higher. Get it up higher, okay? Even higher. Now you guys are gonna go as high and as fast as you can, trying to get your knee up all the way up to your face. Mr. Martin's knee is almost hitting him in the face every single time that knee comes up. All right, freeze right there, all right? Last drill that we're gonna do for a warm up. It's gonna be working on that footwork again, all right? You're gonna be off of your heels. We're gonna be working on switching your feet just like we did before, so you switch. Just like this, switch. Every time I say switch, your goal is gonna be to race Mr. Martin. Okay, ready, and go. Switch, now ready, switch. Now ready, switch. All right, now try to beat Mr. Martin to lay in your feet, switch. Switch, switch. Now notice his heels are off of the ground. His heels should never touch the ground during this drill. This is incredibly important. Switch, 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 switch. Now, every time I say switch, you're gonna do two switches. So I go switch, you guys go one, two. There we go, ready, switch. Ready, switch. Hold, 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 switch. Hold, 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 switch. Switch, switch. 10 seconds left, ready, go switch. Switch, 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 switch three times. Now switch three times. All right, and relax. All right, guys, so that's gonna be our warm up today. Really fast, go get a drink of water, pause the tape, and come right back. All right, guys, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be working on our kicks now. All you need is you need either one, you can use a towel, um, you can use um, an old belt, you guys can use um, a string, and you guys need something to hold it. So whether it's somebody helping you, or you guys can kind of tie it to something and have it um, be hanging down. May, main thing that I want you guys to do is I want you guys to make sure that you guys have permission, especially if you guys are um, a younger student, that means under 18 years old, you guys have permission before you tie something on and you guys start kicking it, making sure that it's safe. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on working on your front kicks with a string. So Mr. Martin's gonna demonstrate, I'm gonna hold this here. Okay, now, I'm gonna stand to the side. He is going to do his front kick, making sure it's right on that line and he's gonna kick this with his front kick just hitting the belt and not anything else, okay? So ready, he's gonna go one. Now, two. Now at home, you guys should be following along, okay? So if you need to pause this and get this set up, then pause this and get it set up. All right, we're gonna start from the beginning. Ready, go one, two, three, four, and five. Now other side, switch feet, front kick here, ready, go one, two, three, four, and five. Excellent, now we're gonna switch the exact same thing with the side kick that everybody knows, all right, because we've all been working on the exact same thing. So ready, step up, go one. Now step up, go two. Ready, and three. Ready, go four. Ready, go five. Now, other side, exact same thing. Ready, go one. Now, ready, go two. Ready, go three. Ready, go four. Ready, go five. Now, as you guys get better with this, you guys can start to shorten what you guys have to hit to where I can start to go like this. And then he's got to do side kick and hit this. So ready? Step up and go one. Now, the goal would be to hit this without hitting whatever it's tied to, all right? Or hitting whoever's holding it. Again, you need permission before you do this at home, okay? You want to get it to the point where it's as little as this, and you guys can do um, a complicated movement, whether if it's a front kick, round kick, or maybe a different technique in order to only hit the little piece, okay? That's going to be our kicking drills for today. All right guys, we're gonna be doing a couple stretches in order to help improve your guys' front splits 
without actually doing the split. So these are gonna be a bunch of different stretches that you guys can do in order to help you guys out. So we're gonna do each one of them for 30 seconds, but I highly recommend that you guys do this stretching and you extend the time if you really wanna gain flexibility. Flexibility is gonna be one of the big keys for you guys to kick higher, especially if you struggle that way. If you're super flexible and you can go in the splits on all three sides, then you need to focus more on the strength section of these trainings, okay? So you need to evaluate where you're at and then move forward from there. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have our feet shoulder width apart. Let me get out my timer here, okay? Now, what you guys are gonna do is you guys are gonna squat down just like this. You guys are gonna take one foot, you guys are gonna stick it out just like that. Okay, now this is how you use it as a warm-up stretch, okay? We're just gonna hold it for 30 seconds and I'm gonna give you guys a couple things you should do during this. All right, so timer's on. Now, which first thing you're gonna try to do is you're gonna try to sink down as low as you can to the ground and keep this knee facing that direction. So I'm gonna get down super low. Okay, I should be feeling a stretch right back here on my leg, in the back part of my leg, all right? Getting super low, if you guys can get super, super low, then you guys can reach down and grab your foot, even put your nose towards your knee, that'll help you guys out too. Now you're gonna pull this foot in, we're gonna go and do our other side. So kick out this other foot here, toes straight up in the air, sink down as low as you possibly can, holding. Again, my stretch should be right on the back part of my leg, as I sink down nice and low. If that's easy, I can try to put my nose towards my knee, depending on what your flexibility level is. You should be pushing past the point of comfort. All right, now what we're gonna do, all right, is we're going to go like this. We're gonna put our knees on the ground, our feet are gonna be apart, and I'm gonna hold this way. All right, so this is another kind of supporting stretch that I can do to help my splits. Just like this. Then I'm gonna kind of go back and forth. All right, now, same stretch we did earlier this week. We're gonna keep this leg tucked. We're gonna stick this leg straight out, and I'm gonna sit. Then I'm gonna reach down, I'm gonna grab this foot here. One hand on either side of my foot, or grab it, depending on what your flexibility level is. So again, these are stretches to support your splits. Sometimes going into the splits nonstop um, is not only kind of boring, but it's better to do all of these stretches around the splits and then go into the splits so it'll help you get faster results, okay? Now, tuck this leg back in, kick this leg out. Just like this, then grab. holding on to that foot. Good, five seconds, breathe. Good, all right, now, next stretches. These are gonna be two of my favorite to work on the front splits. I'm gonna be going this way, to where I push my hips down towards the floor. This knee's up, push your hips down. Try to get your hips to go as close to the floor as possible. Just like this. All right, you should be feeling a stretch in your back leg and your front leg at the exact same time. Here. 10 seconds left on this one. Now what we're gonna do is you guys are gonna extend that front leg and reach down and grab your toes. This should be 100% of a stretch on your front leg. Then we're gonna hold this one. Now what's best practice is going to be um, doing this multiple times. I'm only doing it once today. But try to do it multiple times. It'll help you guys out. Okay. Now we're gonna switch our feet. Same thing on the other side. Push your hips down towards the floor, just like this. If you're not getting a stretch, push your front leg out. Keep your back straight, really push your hips down as you're doing this. 10 seconds left. 
Five seconds. Now, pull this foot back, reach down, grab your toes. Holding on to your toes. 30 seconds here. Ten more seconds. Alright guys, then obviously what you would do if you guys are working on getting in the splits is spend a lot of time in the splits as well, but those are a bunch of supporting stretches you guys can do around the splits to help you guys out. Alright guys, we're going to um, help you guys also learn how you guys can start to stretch with your belt and your chair and then also kind of develop the muscles to be able to kick higher as well. We're going to start with a side kick, but you can use this as a round kick and a front kick as well. So Mr. Martin, he's going to put his foot in the belt. He's going to hold onto the chair. Now he's going to chamber. He's going to extend all the way, pushing out, and then hold his kick at the end, right? He's going to hold that for a good five to 10 seconds at the end. And then he's going to pull his foot in, rechamber. Now his goal is going to be for his leg to get tension the entire time. So as he put kicks out, he's pulling with his arm, getting tension, and then holding it at the end really high for about five to 10 seconds towards the end. And then same thing, as he pulls in, he should be pulling in really hard with his arm. That way he starts building his leg muscle using his belt. You can do this for a front kick as well. Okay, so let's see if we can show him with the front kick. He's gonna go here. He's gonna pull, and then he kicks, then he's gonna pull his leg up as high as possible, then he's gonna go back. The goal at the end is to pull on that belt to get your kick as high as you possibly can, and this is gonna be a bonus drill for you guys. Try to do five to 10 on each side um, before you guys stop your Taekwondo training today. Chun B for form number one. Left leg steps forward into a front stance. Left low block. Right number two front kick. Land forward in a right front stance. Left reverse punch to midsection. Right punch to midsection. Left leg steps forward to a left front stance. Left punch high section. Right foot moves to a middle stance. Right knife hand strike to midsection, kia. Right number three side kick, land in a right front stance. Right inner form block. Left foot steps into a left front stance, left punch to high section. Right leg steps forward into a right front stance, right low block. Left number two front kick, land forward in a left front stance. Right reverse punch to midsection. Left punch to midsection. Right foot steps forward into a right front stance. Right punch to high section. Left foot moves to a middle stance. Left knife hand strike to midsection, kia. <coughs> left number three side kick, land in a left front stance. Left inner form block. Right foot steps forward into a right front stance. Right punch to high section. And bro. Shariat, Kenyai. 